it's Jennifer with Astro T Astrology. Uh, today on the weekly forecast, we are going to check our baggage at the door and get over it because this week is a lot of Chiron action going on. So let's get started. Uh, so the first thing we have is on uh, Sunday, the 23rd, which it's Monday, but you know, still we're going to be feeling some reverberation from this. Uh, we have the Mars in a sextile with our uh, retrograding Mercury. So Mars is currently in uh, Cancer and Mercury is in Taurus. So a sextile is a happy little aspect. It's a nice blend of these. Um, of course, you know, it's got the word sex in it, so it, it has to be good, right? Uh, so it's a good kind of way to remember, you know, the good and bad we have. You know, the goods are the, the sextiles, conjunctions, and um, trines, or squares, they're the more difficult ones. So, when I think of uh, Mars and, and Mercury, we think of really um, a deep, deep thoughts, of keeping your mind active. Do some digging, go over some old facts or some something that you used to be interested, maybe do some relearning of it. Um, something that you really loved, you know, uh, let your gut kind of tell you and tell you what you want and then kind of look into um, how to, to relearn this stuff. Really uh, keep your mind going. Um, with Mars and Cancer, it's a lot of emotions. Um, you could be over emotional even. Uh, Taurus, of course, is going to kind of calm that down. Um, you know, the Mercury isn't going to be so stimulated in Taurus like it normally would be, so your emotions might not be working overtime. Uh, so it's going to keep you kind of like, you know, a little bit flatter than you would normally be with, uh, you know, Mercury and and Mars together. You kind of have action and you have thinking, and so you really want to, you know, get in, uh, study, Go back, you know, you think retrogrades, you want to go back. Something that you might have been interested before that you might want to look back into. Um, so maybe if you're getting back into astrology, that's why you're watching my channel, to be like, oh, I want to relearn some of this. I want to kind of get back into it. So, you know, hey, welcome back, if that's the case. Um, with me, I was thinking of getting back into tarot reading. I used to do it a long time ago, back when I was uh, late teens, early 20s kind of got out of it, but I've been learning a lot of how um, astrology and tarot is related and how they kind of blend together, so I think it'll be a lot of fun to really uh, dive my brain into that for a little bit and kind of, you know, do some digging, do some research and learning. Um, so uh, the other thing it makes me think about is uh, cancer, again, with with Mars in it, can, can make you kind of overreact sometimes, can make you, especially... Um, in a blend with, even if it's a sextile, it, it still can make you kind of say things without thinking, because um, you have Mercury in there, and that's about communication. Uh, Mars is kind of sometimes, you know, action without uh, thinking of the reaction. Um, so maybe if you go back and think about, you know, things that you might have said that have hurt people in the past, things that... Um, you may want to ask forgiveness for. You know, use that Mars in Cancer to to ask the forgiveness for the things that you might have said that might have hurt somebody. So you know, use that blend of the Mars. You know, actively you know ask for that permission, ask and and speak and communicate uh, to make things right. You know, with the the Mercury. You know, work through the problems. Use that Mercury and Taurus to really work through the problems that. Uh, things that you might have said has caused. Um, so then on um, the 24th, so that would be today, we have Sun in a conjunction with the North Node. So we have the North Node and we have the Sun. Oh no! Sorry, dropped my Venus and she's coming up a little bit. Um, so we have the Sun and the North Node conjunct in Taurus. So uh, it's, it's a lot of thoughts about inner kind of growth. Um, uh, the sun is your, your drive. It's your uh, vitality. Um, and the north node is what you're kind of driving towards. Uh, what is uh, tempting you? What 
is uh, your desire to, to go towards. Uh, so these two together are really going to help you push for that inner growth, for self-improvement. Um, in Taurus, it's, you know, you're going to be digging your heels in and really getting serious. Um, you know, you're going to be able to hone in on whatever it is that, um, you know, what are you growing towards? What are you uh, looking to achieve? And, you know, this, this is a great conjunction to help, especially in Taurus, because, you know, it's that slow and steady, that, um, you know, keeping your feet in the ground, really, you know, keeping firm grip in there. Um, so there's a lot of going on in Taurus this month. Um, we have the North Node, the Sun, we have Mercury, we have Uranus, all in Taurus. And um, so if you are a Taurus, um, even if you're a Scorpio, you're going to be feeling this. You know, if you're a Scorpio, it's going to be more in an opposition. Um, also, if you're really in any of the um, of the fixed signs. So if you are a Taurus, if you're a Leo, uh, Scorpio, or an Aquarius, uh, you're going to be feeling this. Because it's either going to be in the opposition or in um, a square. Uh, you know, of course, you can go through, but, you know, mainly... If, if you have the oh, any of your angles, your MC, IC, DC, uh, AC, anything um, in one of the fixed signs, or especially in Taurus, you're really going to be feeling this, uh, this uh, conjunction. Um, so really kind of dig your heels in uh, and, and go for it. Um, so then on Tuesday, we have our first kind of glimpse in to Chiron for this week we have a Venus square to Chiron now Venus is in um, Gemini and Chiron is in Aries so this it's really a lot of inner conflicts um, you know we have Aries that's ruled by Mars um, it's that you know kind of fighting back and forth maybe uh, mentality where you have an inner conflict with something that uh, may have caused you pain in the past. The pain in the past, that is the Chiron. Um, things that have hurt you, that have wounded you, that's um, uh, coming kind of back. Uh, this could be coming up in your relationships, especially, you know, with with your partnerships with your work partnerships love partnerships even your friendships um, any people that are close to you maybe this old baggage is coming back and feeling some jealousy distrust um, you know maybe you think your friendship group is talking behind your back um, you know we have um, you know Aries kind of just get your mind going a little bit uh, too much and you know Venus and Gemini that Gemini, it's, it's got that, that brain that doesn't turn off sometimes, and you think, and you rethink, and you start, ooh, they're talking about me, they're gossiping, oh, you know, where is he going, who is he going out with, why is he, why is he so late? Um, you know, if you've had issues in the past, maybe you got cheated on, maybe your friends weren't faithful to you, maybe you had somebody backstab you at work, a partner at work backstab you, um, and you're bringing this into a current relationship that could have nothing to do with that. So you really want to kind of try to shut down that brain that's overthinking, that, that Gemini that's that's over here thinking one thing and then over here thinking another thing. So Gemini is, is, you know, two separate parts and, you know, they're talking to each other and one's convincing the other one. So you want to try and shut that off. Um, don't let your mind take over. Uh, so next coming on that day, we have a sun in a sextile with Saturn. This actually will be very helpful from this, um, this square between the Venus and Chiron. Um, you know, when your mind's being overworked, Saturn can really kind of like you know what, we've already learned these lessons. We don't need to learn these lessons again. You need to grow up and 
get over it. Yeah, that's, you know, the theme of this. It's like that old baggage, leave it at the door and we're getting over it because it's about time. We're gonna stop bringing it into our current relationships and uh, stop bringing all this old baggage in. We don't need it. There's enough going on in the world right now that we don't need to bring stuff that isn't even relevant into this. Um, so don't let those things haunt you anymore. Uh, use that Saturn and Sun sextile to really use your inner vitality, your inner spirit to just grow up, get over it, um, and you'll feel a lot better. Um, you know, Wednesday we have the moon moving through Cancer. Uh, so, you know, if you have, say, your moon in Cancer, if you have any personal planets in Cancer, you're going to be feeling this too if you have any of your angles. Um, you could, might have one of those days. It could be one of those days where, you know, it's best that people just kind of leave you alone because you could be kind of emotional. Your emotions could be here, there, everywhere. You know, the moon is happy in Cancer, but sometimes it can be, um, you know, it could, it could draw on your emotions a little too much. Or you could be overly nice to everybody and just be like, oh, I want to do everything for you and I'm going to take care of you and let me um, cook you dinner and, you know, all these nicey niceies. It really depends on, you know, what else you have going on that, you know, if it's squaring any of your personal planets, um, uh, AC, anything like that. Um, or any of your luminaries, of course, um, the sun and the moon. Um, so next we have on Thursday, we have a Mars, again, in Cancer. Um, let me find my Mars here. And now that's coming into a square with Chiron in Aries. So if I can find my Chiron. So we have Chiron up here in Aries. Now this is in a square. So we're going to use the red string for that because see a square is a little bit, um, whoop, there. Square is a little bit, can be harsh, can be a little bit grating. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not the easiest aspect in the world. Um, so this is really about almost purging yourself. Um, the Mars in Cancer is your emotions. You want to just purge yourself of those emotions that Chiron is really just keeping, you know, bringing back and bringing back the Aries and Mars working together. You know, Aries, Mars rule. Uh, and then we have, you know, the Mars square. So it's going to be a lot of, you know, get rid of that victim mentality. Uh, when these wounds resurface, you know, you just need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. It's like, yeah, get over it. You know, everything doesn't have to be a pity party. We need to like grow up again. We need to just do, you know, what, uh, we learned with, with Saturn. We need to grow and learn from these problems that have happened. And instead of just dwelling on them, we need to learn from them and to get over them. Um, work our men, you know, work through it mentally. Um, don't hold on to this old baggage. Um, so then we move along to Friday. <coughs> Excuse me. So <coughs> the allergies around here are crazy here in New England. Um, you know, oh, welcome spring. So we have Mars coming into a sextile with uh, Uranus in Taurus. Uh, Mars in Cancer, of course, uh, coming into a sextile with Uranus in Taurus. So again, a lot of Taurusy things, a lot of Martian things, a lot of um, you know Cancer feelings deep down in your gut. Uh, we have uh, you know then Taurus here that uh, especially with Uranus in Taurus again we have so much going on in Taurus uh, changes and you know so so with the Mar Mars Ch Chiron square what did we want to purge? What did we want to get over? Um, so let's start again. Uh, Uranus is about, you know, we let go of that victim mentality. Now we're going to bring on the charm. We're going to embrace this change. Uranus is about change and we want to embrace that. And we want to, you know, let's, 
uh, have this be a new and improved me. You know, I'm going to be less emotional. I'm going to be more, uh, you know, uh, reality, focused on the reality of what's going on in our lives right now. Come here. You want to come up? No, he doesn't want to say hi. He's a little pickles in here. Um, needing some attention. So, um, again, let's end this week with a new improved you. And, um, you know, we'll get rid of this baggage. You leave that baggage by the door and everything is going to work itself out. Use your Saturn, use your Mars, use your words to ask for forgiveness. Use, um, you know, early in the week, ask for that forgiveness. Uh, use your Saturn to grow from it. Um, you know, use that Mars to actively, you know, flush out, flush out the old pains and really kind of uh, come into your own. Be the new you. And let's make this a new and great week. It's spring. Everything's changing. I hope you've been enjoying your spring so far. Um, I've really used my inner Taurus. We only have the nose in Taurus for a little bit more. So let's embrace that. I know me, I was out on Saturday and I was digging up my garden. Couldn't be more Taurus than that. Um, really getting my hands in the dirt, pulling up all the old weeds, pulling up all the old plants from last year and we're going to start all over. So we're starting a whole new cycle, a whole new, you know, the sun cycle in Taurus is starting anew. Uh, we did this last year. It's starting all over again. So, you know, think of the you know the planetary cycles the luminaries have them too sun is starting its new cycle in Taurus uh, so it's gonna go full so when you think you know as it goes around just like a moon cycle will you're going to come uh, to your fruition and you're gonna reap the benefits so like if it is the garden that you're working on uh, that garden is gonna you know you want to plant it so here we have it being planted as we move into Gemini talk about well, okay, so how, you know, the, the sun moves, how are we going to plant this garden? What are we going to get in it? What kind of vegetables are we going to have? Uh, then it moves into cancer. We want to nurture this garden. We want to, we want to feed it. We want to water it. We want to, you know, take care of it and watch it grow. Leo, oh, the sun's going to come out. The sun's going to warm it. The sun's going to uh, make it grow and make it, you know, things start to, you know, bud and we start getting maybe some vegetables growing on it into Virgo. Okay, so what are we going to do? These one, these vegetables we're going to pickle and we're going to put away. These we're going to can. These we're going to use in, um, you know, stir fries. going to give some of these to family. Uh, Virgo is really kind of getting that plan together. Then we go into Libra. We want to share it. We want to relish it. We want to really, you know, we have a lot of this, so we don't need as much of that. And we're going to give that away. And maybe, you know, my son has his garden going. Maybe we'll say, okay, here, we have too many cucumbers and you have too many peppers, so let's swap. You know, you want to keep it all balanced out nice. Um, your son moving into um, Scorpio, that's going to be kind of the, if you think about it, the full fruition of it. Um, so, you really want to reap and, and appreciate and take advantage of all the work you've done. Really kind of, um, you know, be proud. Have that pride in yourself. Um, that we're going to move into Sagittarius, where we're going to be, um, well, maybe even a little bit braggy. Like, oh, my garden was so good this year. I have all of this stuff that I have canned and frozen for next year you know and you know we're gonna start winding it down a little bit Capricorn you know maybe we're gonna you know s stop the planting we're going to you know get everything back into the ground maybe turn the ground back up a little bit um, and we have Aquarius again uh, if we did can stuff maybe we want to share it maybe we want to um, kind of spread the um, you know the, the we want to be charitable, you know, give some of this away, help somebody that's less fortunate. Um, you know, Pisces is really, you know, we're getting towards the end of the cycle. So we start imagining, oh, we did so well with this this year. Maybe we'll do flowers or maybe we'll do, 
uh, some exotic plants or who knows what. Like, let's really fantasize and, and plan. Um, Aries then is at the very end before we start the new cycle. And that is, um, you know, really getting the plan together. Okay, we gotta get the seeds, we gotta get the lighting, we gotta get, you know, everything together, and we need to take action to get this garden working, and then it gets into Taurus, and it starts all over again. Taurus is my favorite season to kind of start a new, you know, I know that Aries is the start of the, the sun going around, um, but really you could start it anywhere, and because I have the moon in Taurus, uh, when my the sun comes into conjunction with my moon, it's kind of like, um, you know, a little inner eclipse for me. And so they're coming together to start, uh, you know, something new, something that, you know, is going to drive you. So that's about all I have for you today. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And I want to thank you for joining me. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and um, also subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get updated on uh, the new videos I have coming out. And if you want to be notified of those, hit the little bell and you'll get a little notification every time I come out with a new video. I try to do it about two times a week. Uh, I do my Sunday weekly weather. Um, point out some interesting things that are happening during the week, and then um, we'll dive deeper into uh, uh, another topic on Thursday, is when we're really going to get deeply deep. This Thursday, we're probably going to be talking about the, um, the moon phase that's coming up, the next eclipse that's coming up next week on the 5th. Um, my cat is moving. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's moving my tray around. I was losing my train of thought. So anyway, stay tuned and please join me on my next video. Um, please hit the like and subscribe button and say hi to Pickle because he'll be here too. Mm. Have a great week, guys. Bye.